It that was such was an amazing awesome. experience to uh, to come to Singapore and be here for 24 hours, and that is the response that is there, and it just um, it made us fall in love with Singapore so much, and particularly today, meeting all these guys as well, which was so... We love you guys. It was so awesome. So good. Well, Singapore loves you. Tell us what's the first thing that people say when they see you. What are, what are some of the most... Why don't you make more videos? <laughs> Why what? <laughs> they say, why don't you make more videos? Usually, uh, it's, it's a hobby for us, and we decided that the day it stops becoming fun will be the day we stop doing it. Luckily, we're into our sixth year, uh, and one of the questions that someone from the media asked us is, what are we planning to do you know, in the next 10 years? And we'd never thought about that before. Um, but um, what we are planning on doing is doing more trips overseas and more road trips and more experiences with, um, with strange cars and new people. So that's the, that's the plan for me. I can tell you exactly how that goes, though, because someone will look at you, you'll be walking down the street, or more so driving, because they recognise all the cars from the show and they'll be like are you Marty? I'm like yes I am <laughs> and then there's people like hey and they, it's always positive you know people love coming up and asking us about the cars and they want to you know show us what they've done themselves it's it's cool to experience. You've been doing this for a long time but are you surprised at the, the level of success that you've gained and um, I am surprised, to be honest, because uh, our videos are long format, you know, they kind of can go for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, some of them up to an hour, and so um, I am surprised that it's as popular as it is. Um, it's certainly, I don't think, as uh, funny as some of the other kind of acts that we've had up here tonight, but we are kind of sitting in a different category because our show is DIY, so we need to make it entertaining and accessible, but ultimately there needs to be something in there that people can learn. Um, I've got to say, I think I was a little bit starstruck. I saw a woman who cooks with dog, uh, a woman, a woman that I saw her out back and that was awesome. And I think out of everyone here, she's probably closest to us because she's also doing a how-to. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. Let me, um, let me open the, the questions to the floor now. I'm sure we have people that have got burning, burning questions. Anyone would like to ask a question to our guests tonight? Chance of a lifetime. Anyone at all. Chance of a night time. Um, I'm from Sydney. Um, I'm also from Sydney, which makes it very easy. And we've got a Sydney side of there. All the um, way here. But I, um, I, was, I grew up on a cattle farm in rural New South Wales. Was it a goat stud? No, that was, I hit the big time when I was four years old, moved to a goat stud in Tarrago, which is a little kind of country town. Um, and then, um, yeah, and I, I live in the city now. I work, I work in the city as a musician. That's my kind of full-time job. Um, so, yeah, we're from Sydney, but originally I'm from uh, rural, uh, rural New South Wales. That's good that someone asked a question. Thank you. Uh, now maybe other people won't be scared, so please lay them exactly. on us. Now is your, your chance. Favourite car mod? I'm going to answer that one. Please do, Mark. Favourite car mod is a video that just came out three days ago. Uh, we've been asked since we started the show, everybody always wants to know, how do I make my car faster? That's always the burning question. I totally get it, because you get a car, it might be sort of crap, might be sort of slow. You see something go fast, you know, go fast, it's quicker. Um, it's always been, how do I turbocharge my car? And that's an episode we just did about three days ago, completed. It's already got 250,000 views or something like that. And getting great response, people loving it, and that's 250,000 views, and it's half an hour long. So people are sticking around to watch what we have to say for, yeah, 30 minutes. It's all how to, it's very nerdy, very technical, how to weld stuff and cut stuff and make cars faster, which I'm totally into. Yeah. So many, like, cameras just pointing at us in silence. It's like gorillas in the mist. There's all these, like, I know, lenses we have to, through like... the smoke. It's, you know. Anything else? Lame? Just shout them out. Even if it's about Marty's sex life, that's fine. No, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. No, I'm kidding. Um, any it's more not questions? a lot to say. What are you guys like away from the camera, away from the public eye, away from your YouTube videos? Who are you guys? Is this you? Oh, look, it's, it's an exaggeration of ourselves, I guess. Um, there's a few times that I've maybe let a, a part of myself that was too real come out, and that hasn't gone well at all. Uh, one particular time uh, that I can remember is we were doing a tour in Australia um, and, um, for a big car show, and, um, and, uh, and I just read in the newspaper that there are these bluefin tuna and that Mitsubishi were like getting these massive big like things and, uh, and, and farming all the bluefin tuna and then putting it in a fridge so once it was illegal to like fish it, uh, they would have a massive stock, or that's what I read at the time. So I was like, anyone who owns a Mitsubishi, that's really evil. 
And that's the response that it had, it was just absolute silence. He's so then Marty had to save me and he's like, who wants some free stuff? And we gave away like $10,000 well of free stuff and that was fine. Yeah. It, so was, it was his inner tofu eating hippie. There's a long running joke that he eats tofu. And I don't like it's it. It's not a joke, it's real. Had some delicious tofu at a hawker centre yesterday. You did not have delicious uh, it is, tofu. It is the real us. But, you know, I don't wake up in the morning and go, oh, man, I'm going to go mad. You know, that, that happens about five minutes after I've woken up. So it is us. It's, you know, it is. It is, yeah. But you seem like the grown-up in this relationship. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Uh, you, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you seem like kind of straight now. If we were a boy band, he'd be like the good-looking one. And I'd be like the badass one that's not actually that badass because I don't drink and I only eat tofu. Luckily, we're not a boy band. Well, that would be an interesting performance. Um, <laughs> no, I think we balance each other well as well. You know, like he actually knows a lot about cars. And as, I, as we were saying before, we both do everything, literally present it, shoot it, do the music, do all the nerdy YouTube related things. There is no crew yeah, at you, all. There's, you're looking at nothing. It. So, so everything so. you saw there, we shot. The music was made by this man here. Uh, and that's pretty much the way we've run it from the, from the start, which, is, which has been great, because you get all that creative control that YouTube allows you to have. Well, I didn't answer the grown-up question. I don't think I'm all grown-up. You uh, did, because that was grown-up. I'm going to answer it for you. You might okay. use the grown-up, I'll tell you why. I get this thing where if, like, if I don't eat, I get really crazy, and I start seeing like, multiple arms and flirty unicorn Unicorns. things flying around. Uh, so Marty, uh, he carries food for me, so I guess that makes him the adult, because I've got my, my own little secret stash, and when that runs out and I'm, like, I'm really hungry, Marty will always have a little stash of food, so he's looking out for me. Uh, oh. Yeah, he's nice. And I'm, and I'm a mad wingman for him because, you know, that's, I repay him that way. So It's like a marriage made in heaven. My last question for you guys. If, if someone out there, someone watching us on YouTube right now wants to do what you're doing, what would your words of advice be to them in terms of a journey that could really snowball and become massive? Yep. I'll start that. Um, just get out there and, and have a go. The, the great thing is the technology is all there these days. Like this, it's so easy to go and make things. Just come up with some good ideas and actually get in there and have a go. Um, don't get caught up in the, you know, I'm going to be a megastar, I'm going to make millions of dollars and all that kind of stuff that may or may not happen. Just actually get in there and, and, and try and do something different. Do your research. Learn how to use all the technology would be my few tips. Uh, my tips would be to believe what you see, don't believe what you read. Uh, when you first start making uh, YouTube videos, it's really easy to get a comment of somebody who says, oh, that's crap, or that sucks, or you're ugly, or this is stupid, or, or saying all of these really rude things. And if you believe what you read, soon you won't be making anything at all. So it doesn't matter what you do. I often joke with Marty that, um, Sometimes you see these amazing kids on YouTube playing piano and all of these people dislike it. You see, I saw a video of a moon, as in the moon and eclipse. Oh, that's a crap moon. <laughs> it's, it's like, so, you know, but if you believe what you read, maybe it is a crap moon, but when you see it with your own eyes, just, you know, like Bruce Lee said, you know, don't look at the finger, look at the moon, um, then you start to believe what you see. So when we go to meets and we see people, that's what, that's what we kind of believe. And because uh, in Australia we're still kind of on the fringe of mainstream media, but we do, get, uh, we do do a lot of interviews in mainstream media and TV and radio, and, um, and sometimes they misquote us, sometimes they literally fabricate things that we didn't even say. Uh, but... My advice would be you've just got to stick to your own guns. You've got to do your own thing. If you want to make a video, you've just got to kind of believe in yourself and do it because if you do it and the longevity of your video is based on this kind of pyramid and that pyramid is built of the comments that people get you, then it's not long before that's going to fall. So you've got to forget all that stuff, follow your heart, follow your dreams, do your own thing and eat tofu while you do it. No, don't do that. Yeah. That was fantastic advice. We're going to leave our viewers now with some more of that stuff from Singapore today. Guys, thank you so much. We need to cut that little bit that you just said into a little video and run it for people who want oh, to go thank and you. express Done. themselves and on YouTube. Biggest thanks. So, I mean, we do want to thank HP and YouTube and Branded for putting on this event because it's because of them that this has happened. We'd love to come back again if this happens again. So I guess that'll be up to you guys to lobby that. Um, and most importantly, Singapore, beautiful people, beautiful city. We absolutely love it here. Awesome. We've loved our experience here. So to you guys, thank you so much. Come back and see us soon. Thank you.
าดีครับโอ้ร็อกสวัสดีครับ